Hello. I'm Mick Jenkins <laughs> from the south side of Chicago. It's the people versus Mick Jenkins. False ego. Damn, almost all the words start with P's and Q's. You'd be surprised how many people don't catch that shit. <laughs> the first time I played it, I came and heard everybody's studio, and there were like six people in there, and I played P's and Q's for them. Run it back, maybe like the fifth time, their manager was like, oh shit, all the words start with P and Q. I was like, bro, like you're a little late. Like, <laughs> and it's just like, I see people like generally like miss that sometimes. Uh, it's crazy to me, cause I feel like, put, 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 like, how can you not hear it? But yeah, people definitely miss it. <laughs> Knowledge five, I pray Interscope, Shady, TDE, or Kanye sign Free Nation as a whole, or Mick first. Uh, I used to pray for that too. <laughs> Not anymore though. I don't mind being uh, fairly independent. Uh, I want to be completely independent, uh, actually. Um, all of these people are really dope. Interscope, Shady, TDE, Kanye, I would love to work with them. Uh, I understand the sentiment knowledge. Like I said, it's something that I used to pray for too. Camaglotronic. I'm sure I said that wrong. All the way from Africa, South Africa to be exact. You know Nelson Mandela. I'm Africa's biggest Mick Jenkins fan. Waters is the greatest project I've heard in all my life. As for P's and Q's, legendary. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's what I think is crazy. People who are not from my culture, because I'm very much telling stories from my culture as a black man. And it's already hard for people who are a part of my culture to understand. Some people who aren't, who live halfway around the world, hear it, like it, and then understand it. It's just mind blowing for me. Uh, I was born and raised in America, but was taught by an American system in an American society. As much as I hate that shit, <laughs> it's the truth. You know, I know people who never left their block, who never left their neighborhood, who never left their city, so. Having the opportunity in so many different ways to be able to travel the world and come overseas and be all over the states and see different people and different cultures and different areas and different landscapes is, is experiencing the world, you know? And that's an opportunity that people don't really get, so I, I love it. Let's see, how did he do this? God in Nuru. Uh, I was walking backwards and everyone else was moving forwards around me throwing a bunch of uh, things, stuff. Uh, the train actually wasn't going backwards. It was going forwards. The end of the train just looked like the front of the train. So we shot four different takes, but because that take had the train in it, which it wasn't really planned by us, uh, we had to go with that take. MW2 Geek, a Mick Jenkins and Capital Steez track would have been insane. Long live Stilo. Shout out to the whole Pro Era fam. I, I, I believe the same thing, you know. Uh, talk with Joey, talk with Kirk, looking at Steve's videos. Uh, seemed like a pretty dope guy, definitely an amazing rapper. I would have loved to do some work with him, just like I've worked with his, with his homies and his brothers. So I think we would have made some crazy shit as well. Trippy Main thought this was gonna be using Kano's P's and Q's beat, was so excited. I actually saw comments like this a lot. I never heard of Kano or his P's and Q's before I, I dropped P's and Q's. Uh, I then did look it up. A very, it's a very popular grime record I didn't know about. I'm getting into grime, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, it's very hard for me to get past the accent, honestly. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I like Skepta, I fuck with Skepta, so. <laughs> he dissed Isaiah Rashad though. Dot, 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 dot. I feel personally and deeply offended. What I actually said was that Isaiah Rashad's music didn't impress me. I don't feel like that's a diss, you know what I'm saying? I don't, impressing somebody is very different from just alone liking the music. I know everybody has had it, but like your friend will come tell you like, yo, this is amazing. Like, yo, it's the next best thing. It's crazy, man. It's, it's the best shit I ever heard. Da, 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 da. And it's just like, that's what everybody was telling me. So often, you know what I'm saying? Like, we fall below the hype. And that's what I meant by that. I think if, if I wasn't in the public eye, I could make that statement and then no one would care. 
Aaron Pierce, 34, am I the only one that thinks I love McCone and looks like a fat McJenkins? No, you're not. <laughs> I've heard people say that before. I don't agree, but McCone actually glue up on us. He glowed up real, real quickly. He lost a lot of weight. He's getting buff. Serena got Drake and him going crazy, so. <laughs> I don't think we look alike anymore. Uh, thank you for the comments, for sure. Please keep keep commenting. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I like reading them. I always do. Uh, People versus McJenkins. This is P's and Q's.